Welcome to Inside the Ivy on Sports Report Radio. On the phone, here's a guy we met last year. We did a video interview with him down in Tennessee. One of the Cubs' top prospects, 2018 Cubs Minor League Player of the Year, Jared Young. Welcome to Inside the Ivy on Sports Report Radio. Hey, man. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, it was great meeting you last year in Tennessee, and it's, uh, it's great to get a call from you. Hey, Jared, let's talk a little bit about yourself. I know you played in the 2019 Arizona Fall League. Can you talk a, bit, a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a wonderful league. Um, there's six teams uh, comprised of five different teams. So uh, my team was the Mesa Solar Sox, and we had the Angels, the Cubs, the Tigers, uh, the Athletics, and oh, one more club. That's oh, okay. the Indians. Okay. All yeah, right. yeah. And so, and so you play against five other teams comprised of five teams. And it's, uh, it, it seemed a little bit like an all-star league, and, and it was an absolute blast. Um, playing out in Arizona in, uh, in October and, and really getting a sense of playing, playing some October baseball and with, uh, with really good competition. It was, it was a lot of fun. All right, Jared, let's talk about, we've been talking about the fall league. Uh, you played seven games this year, I believe, in spring training with, with the club. What was spring training like before it obviously all got canceled this season because of this coronavirus? I mean, tough times in the country, but, but what was it like to suit up to put on that Cubs uniform in spring training 2020? Oh, it's amazing. Um, every time you get to put on the uh, the big league uni, whether you're backing up, whether you're in the dugout, or uh, or you do get to play, hey, it's it's a blessing. And um, and the seven games I think I was able to get into it was it was awesome. And whether you have success or not, you're on the uh, the biggest stage, and and you get to meet the guys and be in the dugout. It's uh, it's really incredible. Hey, Jared, you've been with the club a few years. I saw you got picked in the 2017, so you've been to Mesa a couple times for spring training. But I, I ask a lot of the, the young prospects, what's it like when you walk into that clubhouse and you see Rizzo, you see Schwarbs, you see Bryant, you see Lester, you see all these guys working out, and you're, you're there thinking, these guys are what I want to be in the major leagues, and you see them working out hard. What's it like for you walking in that clubhouse and, and seeing them there and basically your teammates well the first thing that really stands out is how professional those guys are and and how they go about their business there's there's no secret to uh to how much success they've had and it's as soon as you see their day-to-day stuff and and how they go about their work it's like oh well this is how they got there they're they're true pros so it's it's pretty incredible each each one of those guys that's lasted that long in the mlb is is something special Hey, Jared, you grew up in Canada. I know we talked about that before on the video interview last year. What's it like playing ball in Canada, coming to the United States? Is there a big difference? Obviously, you've got Toronto up there, but but what's what's ball, what's baseball in Canada like? Uh, growing up, I grew up in northern Canada, and it was, um, it was good. There wasn't a lot, and unfortunately, the weather and whatnot kind of held us back. You, don't, you wouldn't get to play as much as you would in the United States, so... Um, when I was about 15, I made the decision that I, I really wanted to work hard at it and um, go to a school in the United States so that I could uh, play more and kind of get noticed by more people. It's um, it's tough to get noticed sometimes up in Canada. So then, when you were in high school, you then did you go to uh, come to the United States for high school? Then from there, from Canada? No, my freshman year um, of college, I came. I uh, I moved from from Prince George, where I grew up. To a place closer to the border. It was about seven hours south for my high school baseball. So realistically then, did you feel like that you got the instruction in Canada or do you feel like it was a completely different game once you came to the United States? You had the fundamentals, the natural ability, but kind of honed your skills once you got to the States. Is that, that kind of what you're where we're going with this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was a little bit raw little bit raw coming out of Canada and and like you said I knew how to play but I didn't know how to really put it all together and I think um coming to uh coming to some schools in in the United States and really learning how the game flows and how how I would fit into it was really big for me hey Jared what's it like I mean, the Chicago Cubs let's let's face it franchise has been around 100 years what's it like to think I'm a member of the Chicago Cubs organization iconic franchise incredible um like it, it everyone knows how big the cubs are and how amazing the uh 
the organization is and it's just kind of funny how when I got drafted um, I remember I got a text from my mom right before she called me and it said like and this is a lady from Prince George British Columbia and, and yeah she's a baseball fan but she's not in tune with the MLB too much and she just texted me saying like the Chicago Cubs no way like no better team could have picked you and I was like isn't, isn't that just so true how everyone knows them yeah it, it's just it's really amazing and I've said this many times with interviews with a lot of the players that I've been interviewing, a lot of the minor league prospects and that are being the big leagues, the Cubs not only draft good players, they draft character guys. And I noticed that with you when we met you in person last year and, and talking to you and watching your career. I mean, you're you're a character guy besides besides a good player. And I think that speaks a lot about you. So I, I appreciate you, Jared, taking the time. You know, do this quick little interview with us that we'll get out. But, you know, thanks so much. And, and just we look forward to watching your career and, Following you and following you when you get to Wrigley. Hey, you know what? Anytime. And, and I really appreciate the kind words and uh, the good work that you guys do. It's it's definitely very easy to get on the phone and do an interview when um, when you know that it's going to be absolute quality work on the other end. So, so I got to give kudos to you guys as well. Thanks, Jared. Awesome. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thank you.